Hi guys! Oh gosh, that's a that's not a lovely looking angle. Let me sit down. So today I'm hoping you're super dandy, but it's okay if you're not dandy going into this video because by the end of this video, you'll be super dandy. <laughs> And I'll be super dandy because today we're actually going to be doing a little bathroom makeover in here because to be honest, this is the most boring room of my whole place. It's definitely not Jenna. It's definitely more of a plain Jane type of bathroom. So we're going to be spicing it up today. We're going to be doing it some fun DIYs. We're going to be making it fun Jenna. We're going to be doing just all of the above to make it actually a more interesting bathroom and something that I actually want to wake up and come wash my face in in the morning so to start this off we're gonna be going to a few thrift stores seeing what we can find there i do need to get a shower curtain which it's really hard to find cute shower curtains nowadays they're all pretty ugly we also need a little bit of decor in here i have a few things i've kind of accumulated from the thrift store but i'm hoping i can find you know another one or two items that i can put in here for decor and I don't know what else, but you know, usually when I go to the thrift store, I find things that will look cute and then I buy it. So we're gonna start off by going to Value Village and if I don't find any cute fabric there or cute items, we need to go to the fabric store because we need a cute shower curtain in here. So let's head out, let's go to the first store. Okay, I made it, I'm here at Value Village. My favorite store ever. Um, Yeah, we're gonna go in and see what they have for home decor, some linens type of fabric stuff, and then if they don't have anything for a shower curtain, we're gonna go to a fabric store after. Let's go in! Also, this is how much I care about what I look like today. I'm wearing Crocs with two different socks. Ooh, what is this? It's like a coaster, right? I think it's a coaster, so I don't need a coaster for my bathroom, but. That's cute. Ooh, there's a cow here. What's this? I could hang that up in my bathroom. I kind of like this. I don't know what it's for, but I kind of like it. So the most disappointing thing about my bathroom is that there is no windows, so I can't put any plants. Okay, I by accident found a really cute pot. So I need a cart. These end caps are the most dangerous part because this is where they put like all the nicer stuff I find, like look at this that's kind of cool except it's twenty dollars why is it twenty dollars i kind of want this hand on like a shelf in my bathroom watermelon bowl and watermelon cups so i'm looking in the fabric section but i don't think i'll find enough fabric here to make a shower curtain this isn't bad just like a plain white like a nice linen this is really pretty fabric i don't know about for a shower curtain this one's kind of cute. I think these are actual curtains, so I could definitely turn this into a shower curtain. Guys, look at this little curtain. Isn't this the most beautiful fabric ever? It's like a little tiny curtain, but I'm thinking about turning this into a top just because that is so pretty and it's only $2.99. So I found these two white curtains that are just like a plain white linen. Oh, someone dropped something. They don't have like the typical shower curtain like holes to put like the hooks in, but I can always make it work. I just like them because it's like this nice linen fabric. They're plain white, so I can paint something on them if I don't like just the white look. So I might get these two. It's only $4.99, I think for each of them. And the last thing I need is I need a basket to go under my sink just so I can put my towels. So something either like this or actually these could work. I think this basket is cuter. I wish there was two of them, but I think it'd be cute if I mix match them. Hi guys. I'm back. I'm back in my car now and I ended up getting everything off my list in that one value village. <laughs> I don't know how I got so lucky, but we're pretty much done for thrifting now so we can go home and we can just start to DIY our hearts away and just hopefully make this bathroom look cute. So now I'm gonna give you guys the tour of the bathroom. It is an ensuite bathroom, so it is in my bedroom, and this is what the vanity looks like. It is a floating vanity that is from Ikea. I absolutely love the drawers because I can just have like all my skincare, all my makeup, everything just right here, and then nothing gets cluttered on my sink. Then I have my toilet, an ugly mat, and then I have a bath shower here. Then this side is it's just a boring wall, nothing over here. 
And then this is what it looks like at the door. I just hang my towels here. So I have all my stuff from the thrift store, so I'm just gonna do a quick little mini thrift haul for you guys. So here is one of the baskets I found that will go underneath the sink. I found this little basket that I'm thinking I'm gonna put on a shelf that's gonna go over top of the toilet, and this one was $3.99. This wasn't in my thrift haul, but I've been saving this because I thrifted this bath mat a few weeks ago, so this is gonna be the bath mat for my bathroom. And then I found this basket right here, and it's gonna go underneath my vanity, and it was $4.99. It honestly fits perfect too. And then I ended up getting two of these curtains, which I realize now I only needed one. And then last item is this itty bitty IKEA table. It is so small, which I have never seen one this small. Like I've seen the side table one, you know, that are like a square and they're like super cheap at IKEA, but I've never seen one this tiny. So I'm gonna use this as a plant table. One sec. Hello? Yes. Um, I don't sell on eBay. I just don't want to sell on eBay. I think that was a scam call, because they just hung up on me. And he interrupted my cute table, but anyways. I'm going to turn this into an itty bitty plant table with tiles on it, the DIY that everyone's doing. That's it for my haul. This was $3.99. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait! I forgot. I ended up getting the okay hand, but I gotta be honest, I actually did look it up to make sure that this meant okay. Which I was 99.5% sure it did, but it'd been really awkward if I brought this home and like had this in the video and like in my bathroom, and then people were like, that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing what it's doing. So it's been a couple hours because I have been patiently waiting for my wallpaper to show up and it finally showed up, although it was a little late. So I'm gonna open it up, see what it's gonna look like, which I'm so excited about because I feel like the wallpaper is really gonna just make this bathroom. <laughs> Look at the wallpaper! Whoa, I just dropped it. Isn't this so cool? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but my mirror is disgusting. I'm not gonna clean it now. I'm gonna clean it at the end. Cause I know everyone else's bedroom, bathroom mirrors are looking like that too. So, it took me three hours to put this wallpaper up because of the mirror and the light. It honestly was a big pain, but I'm done now. I'll just show you guys. So this is how it turned out. There are some spots that aren't perfect. Like you can see here, it's not perfectly, like it's really close. Mainly here at this intersection, but for the most part, it looks really good. Okay, so I have everything ready, so I'm gonna start the day off today by tiling this little baby table. I got the tiles last night from Lowe's. I got all my grout here, and I'm just gonna start off by gluing all the tiles to this table, and then I'm actually gonna be using some food coloring to actually dye the grout a color. I saw that in a reel, so I'm gonna try that out today, but I don't think it should be too hard. It's itty bitty, and obviously it's not gonna be in water or exposed to water like if you were like tiling a bathroom so I'm not too worried about it. But as for tile, this is the tile I ended up getting. I just got some nice white square. I think they're about two inches each square and I think it'll end up being perfect. I measured it all and it seemed like everything should align up pretty good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am just gonna put all the tile on here. Gonna try to line everything up as best I can. Mm -hmm. 
So I just finished my table here, or at least putting all the tile on my table here. And now I'm realizing there's instructions on the adhesive and grout. And now as I'm reading them, I'm realizing I did it completely wrong. I did it completely wrong. And it even says, do not use swirl pattern. And I use a swirl pattern, so. So I decided that I'm going to take both of the curtains and sew them together. Possibly cut one in half so it's not too crazy big, but I can't do that right now. Cause you are on them. Every single time I'm sewing, he decides he wants to make my fabric a bed. I need this. Come on, come on, right here, there. I need these. Thank you. So I decided it was just a tad too short in the width of the actual shower curtain. So I'm gonna take the other shower curtain, take some of the fabric from that one, and make it a little bit longer. So I gotta get out my sewing machine for this. Okay, so now I'm working on putting these grommets on the top of my shower curtain here. So it should look like this when I'm done. So I need to do 12 of these and I have them marked here where they line up with the plastic shower curtain. And I'm just gonna be doing it at these marks here. There's a little tool right here to attach them. And I think you just take a hammer and then hopefully they look something like this. Okay, so we're taking a little field trip now because we have to add all the grommets to the top of my shower curtain here. And we need a hard surface and um, there's no really hard surface in my place to hammer them. So we're just going outside to hammer them on the cement. And Benson's coming with us. I know. Come on, Benson. It's so, it's so pretty out. Right here. That looks great. Right. Okay, 11 more. What are you doing, Benson? Are you rolling around in something nasty? Don't eat the grass, don't eat the grass, don't eat the grass. Don't eat the grass. Still eats the grass. So to get the hole here, what I'm doing is I'm just taking my seam ripper and then I'm just like going poking it through here and then doing a little rip that way, rip this way, and kind of making like an X. Then I go ahead and I put this through here. Then I take a top piece and then we hammer it down. And we're done. All 12 are on here and I think they turned out pretty good. So it's been about four, five hours of this table drying so Close enough to 24 to 48, I think. I am gonna start grouting it. And the grout I got, it says you can use it as the base, so the stuff I use to stick the tile to the table, and you can use it as the grout, so I'm using the leftover in here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some food color in here, and we're just gonna dye it a color. It's really hard to notice, but it's like this light kind of minty green right now. Okay, we need a lot more green. I'm just gonna pour the rest of this green in here. So I can't mix this anymore. My hand is way too tired, so I'm just gonna go with this color. It's a light pastel green, which I think is pretty, so I'm gonna go ahead and just grout it with <laughs> this color I made. So far, 
it's going really well, but the one thing I'm learning is you shouldn't really follow the instructions on the grout thing because it told me to wait 15 to 30 minutes after you apply the grout to like wipe it off with a sponge. And I tried doing that and it's, it's not really working. It pretty much it just sticks on there within like 10 minutes. So you really have to wipe it off with a sponge like right away after you're doing the grout. So <laughs> I tried to follow the instructions, but I, I don't like them. So the little baby plant table is almost done. All the grout's done, but I do need to get the legs trimmed just a tad bit. And then tomorrow, once it's like fully dried, I need to wipe it down again because it's still a little dirty from the grout. And then the next project we have going on is this, <laughs> this curtain rod that Tim built. We ended up just getting all this piping from Home Depot and Tim just put it together and then we're just gonna hang it in my shower and that's gonna be the curtain rod. So this is how the shower curtain rod looks like now. It looks really good, other than the screws um, hanging out of it. We couldn't get them screwed in because this bar is in the way. So we're gonna have to figure that out. So Tim, he hand screws everything into the wall because that's really what he enjoys to do. He really likes just like hanging things up and what? He just gets really strong like Grip because he does this all the time. He's hung everything in our place with just a screwdriver. Yeah, no electric drills. We only have this one screwdriver and everything in our house was hung by it. I can't believe we're on day three. I did not think it was gonna take me three days to do a simple, very simple bathroom, but here we are. We're on day three and hopefully I'll finish it today because I really don't have many things left to do in there. It's really just putting the final touches in the bathroom so it's finally done. So the first thing I'm going to do today is I need to put the shower curtain up and then eventually when Tim gets back from golfing, he can help me put the shelves up because <laughs> again, we don't have a drill. So Tim hand screws everything into our walls and to be honest, I had to tape his hand up because he had pretty bad blisters on his hands. So. I don't think golfing's gonna be as fun as he thought it was gonna be today. Did you really have to lay on my white shower curtain right after we went for a walk? Yeah, your paws are dirty. And now there's grass all over my... Okay. Lay here. Come here. Come here, lay down. Good boy. Okay, so this is how it turned out. I think it looks great. I am not having a good hair day today. So the last thing we're gonna be doing in the bathroom is putting up two white shelves here, which I'm super excited about because I feel like putting two shelves here will just like make the bathroom because I'll be able to put some baskets up here, maybe this thing here and just some decor and just kind of make it more homey in here. Because this wallpaper is a little overpowering, so I want to make it a little bit more subtle with some white shelves. I had a mullet. It literally looked like I had a mullet. I don't know what I was doing. I was tired when I did my hair this morning. Okay, I think this looks a lot better. I don't think as much mullet vibes are going on now. shelves are finally up so that was the last thing I needed to do with the walls so I guess the last step now is just cleaning it up putting some things on the shelves here and then showing you guys how it turned out but we don't really need to see me decorate so here's the final reveal guys my bathroom is finally done so I'm gonna give you guys the tour now so when we walk in here we have my 
peachy clean rug that I thrifted, my little bath mat. And then at the shower here, slash bathtub, we have the shower curtain that I thrift flipped. I have a bright yellow towel right here, so when I get out of the shower, you know, I have a towel right here. I also spray painted the shower bar up here. It used to be a gray. It wasn't as nice. I really do like it black, so that is one thing I added at the very end that I did not show you guys. And then also, the shower hooks here are black, so they match perfectly. And then as we move around over here, here, this is the main wall with the wallpaper above the toilet. So here are the shelves I have here. I have a fake plant and a real plant that will be moving in and out to get some sunlight. I have a basket with some extra towels. And then up here, I have some candles and another bin to hide all of my extra, you know, hair ties, headbands, all that kind of fun jazz. Then down here, we have the toilet. I know, very excited. But above the toilet, I just have this little, I don't even know what your call is, but it's a little set where you can just put storage in it. And then for the sink, I have the little dish that I thrifted that I keep my jewelry when I'm washing my hands or showering. Then over here, I have all my hair ties, my scrunchies, soap. And then this is what it looks like with the wallpaper and the mirror. And then beside the sink, I just have a little towel here that matches my other towel, you know, to dry your hands. And then finally, below the sink, this is where my hidden baskets are. My two thrifted baskets. I just have extra stuff in here like makeup, shampoo, Benson shampoo. And then I have some brand new stuff here that I just hoard. And then in the drawers, I have it all nicely organized here with my skincare, you know, tampons. We got makeup, nail polish. And then the bottom one is just more brand new stuff, towels, extra toilet paper, hair dryers, all the stuff I don't really use very often. Well, ex except the toilet paper, I, I use that pretty often. But that is it for my bathroom here. It is finally finished, all clean, and I love it. I really do love it, especially this mat. This mat's really cute. Well. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed decorating my bathroom with me. Definitely took a little bit longer than I thought. Overall, I am really happy with it. I'm really stoked with how it turned out, so I'm very happy. That's all I had to say, so I'm gonna go now, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.